Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I am joined with Carl once again. Hi guys. And today we are breaking down a e-commerce website and essentially how we can improve upon some of the pages. Like there's, there's certain pages that are bottom of page two on, top of page two. So a lot of keywords that are in the positions, let's say 10 to 25, 30. Before we get into this video, make certain to check out cadradash.com where you can book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call and I can go over how you can grow your organic traffic for your website. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, Carl, if you want to things me. off. Yep, let me find. So the website that we are looking at is House of Nutrition, if anybody does want to follow along. Yeah, so the first thing I would be looking at, obviously, it's quite a nice website in general. Um, you know, they've got a good um, URL structure, they've got um, a decent amount of product. It just all looks, in terms of like a metrics, you know, they've got a building, um, they've got all of their socials, they've got a lot of things going on. So that's great. We then come across the keywords. And let's have a look at the organic keywords that they have going on. So, you know, you can see they've got quite a few position ones for various different ones, like which are pretty, I'd imagine, quite competitive, like isolate and casein, obviously protein types. So then if you scroll scroll down you can see a whole list there but the one thing I would say they are missing out on is there are a bunch of featured snippets that they could probably try and take so they have got a few here where you know the position seven eight nine ten um where they could probably quite easily take position one um just by optimizing for the keyword itself so if we actually look at the good thing about this I would say it's quite a difficult one this because I would say as a brand they're not really lacking um much on terms of content you know they've got 736 pages most of those pages are all fitness sort of nutrition orientated i would say they could delve a little bit deeper into each funnel a little bit more um but i would say in general if we look at like one of the pages i think it was the creating pages was one of the higher performing ones yeah um i've just took a segment of the content and then what i like to do just to see if google's actually fully indexing and crawling the page and actually index in the content of the page not just necessarily crawl on the page um is i take just a segment of the content shove it in um uh, abbreviation or question marks and eh, not question marks uh yeah, speech marks. Speech marks. Really Couldn't cool. even get the speech out. Cheers, Kaz. Um, put them in speech marks and then hit enter. Make sure it's a decent enough paragraph um, or decent enough sentence when you do that. And then usually what you'll find is, you know, straight away it's came back with the page and the mm -hmm. specific section. Now, if it's not coming back with that, that's a sign that Google's just not liking the content that you've got on that page or it's duplicated somehow or you're not giving enough unique information to that page that it's like just basically bad past it so this is really good to see and what we might do is just i'll do another live example of that um before we probably move on to you know some link structure so let's pick vegan cheesecake there was an open the, uh, the, the uh, cheesecake recipe yeah <laughs> <laughs> there was an open tag on that page so maybe they just have to have a little bit of a look there so they probably want to fix that but let's take this one here um which is hon supplements there isn't much on this page so it will be interesting to see if this comes comes back with anything yeah so it's came back straight away with the page itself let's see what the omitted results are so it does look like though that could be on two separate pages that same description so this is where i'd be a little bit careful you know whether you've got a sub duplicate content exact on, duplicate yeah. content on subcategories i would be a little bit careful with that i would probably try and just tailor the content a little bit more to make sure it's specific um but you know that's like that's like a little seo thing that you can do which would very quickly make it so you can see um yep. pages like that that you need to fix um but i would say with this site i would be leaning more towards um an off-page strategy which i'm sure kaz if i let you take the reins yeah stop um, sharing so i will start sharing now one thing that i will go into very quickly about the content is should be able to see my screen now so one thing that they don't do enough of is actually internally link from their product pages which i think mm -hmm. is 
is mm. super important. Um, again, it helps build out that, that silo structure. So let's say, for example, they wanted to rank higher for buy creating online. I believe right now they are ranking position 23. Um, so just making certain that you are either internally linking to other creating pages um, or internally linking back up to the forward slash creating page, which is their collection page. Um, so that's what I would be looking to do there um, from an internal linking point of view. Again, their content is pretty spot on. I, I don't think that there's any issues with their content. They do have unique descriptions. They do have um, nutritional values, ingredients, or well, um, instructions, etc. cetera. Um, so from a content point of view, they, they, they're crushing it, but I do feel like that they can improve this by having some internal links. Now, if we then take a look at their, they only have two, two links and that's from their- So what I would also follow on with that, I don't know why I didn't go into the product, but if you actually go into the product again, I've just done it with their essential amino acid one. So the SciTech do the same um, search. So if you take like the first two sentences down there in the description, and it might do it on this one. So you may as well just do it live. So the first two yeah. sentences, shove it in um, with the speech mark sound. And they actually came back with no results. So I have a feeling what they're doing with this. Also, it's, wor it's working on that one. That one's fine. But what they might be doing on some of the products is using sort of the generalized product information right which they should probably look to tweak uh, so um, make it a little bit more unique exactly oh, right okay yeah so um, again we can't stress enough unique content on product pages so important um even if you can play around with a few of the words maybe even run this through chat gbt or potentially even use auto blogging um, to make this that just a little bit more unique it helps massively with product descriptions. So then going back to the link building side of stuff, um, so they only have two links from their French version of their website and their French and I'm guessing that's Belgium. Yeah, Belgium version of their website. Um, and that's the only two links that they have. So if they wanted to actually compete for by creating online, you're probably going to be wanting to take a look at a, ga a website such as Holland and Barrett, especially in the UK anyway. Um, if we sort this website by links, this page by links, as you can see, they do have a lot more links than them. Now, obviously the more links necessarily doesn't mean that it's a good thing, but they do have a lot more um, high authoritative links point through to the website. They've got some DR29s, they've got some DR26s here. Um, so there is a little bit more power being pushed to that page. And then, again, if we were to take a look at the Holland and Barrett website, they do have a good internal linking structure as well. Um, and then one other thing as well, the House of Creatine, or sorry, House of Nutrition don't do, is they don't actually categorize by brand as well, which is super important, especially if you are looking to upload two, 300, 400 products to your website. Um, is there anything that you would add to that, Carl? Um, no, it's pretty good. So into the blink strategy, Kaz, what would you be recommending to these guys? So from a backlinking strategy overall, let's not just take a look at their forward slash creating page, but from a backlinking strategy, if they want to compete with the likes of, for example, um, Holland and Barrett, they're going to build a lot more authority. Um, again, for a DR27 website, they're doing pretty well, I, I would say. Um, but if they want to essentially 5X their traffic, um, all they would, I feel like they would need is an additional 150, 200 backlinks. And again, on the grand scheme of things, that's not that much um, and they they could very easily dominate um the whole nutrition um area i would say with with that um what about yourself what what, what do you think lack from an off-page seo point of view yes yeah, so i was just looking there and i would definitely say like their main strategy really looks to be um links to the home page which is great mm -hmm. um but i would definitely like they've got 63 rds to the home page um i would then be looking at you know build the links to the cluster so, but the main top level category pages of the clusters. Yeah, so Carl's talking about a cluster. He means like forward slash creating, um, building links to any any um, collection pages, some people call them as well. Yeah. And the reason, am I, am I correct in saying the reason you're more so focusing on the collection pages is if, say, for example, they were to build links to the applied nutrition, which is a product page, they might stop selling this product in six or seven months' time. So there's not really much point in doing that, correct? Exactly. So, 
or you know the product might end up becoming out of stock or you know something can happen whereas if they're ranked in their top level category which will have every type of creating that they have it means that you know there's lots of options there and i think from a you know from a google perspective we prefer to see a few different options of products that a user because it just like suffices what they use as the user intent right the users look for certain exactly. creating so it's going to tick that box yeah you you very rarely see um a shopify or an e-commerce page ranking for one product when somebody's searching for the plural so for example i search for buy creatine online and all of the pages that came up were collection pages it was never just a one-off product page where it's like this is the best product for creatine right you, you want to for example my body's different to carl's or for example if it's running shoes you're always going to be presented by four or five maybe even 15 different products and that's essentially the whole intent behind that keyword um so yeah is there anything else that you want to add carl no that's been good yeah so that has been our website review of house of nutrition make sure to check it out feel free to drop in the comments if you think that we missed out something we can do a part two as well um but yeah that has been the video thanks again for watching and also thanks carl for joining me cheers guys thanks